Hello, 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 and welcome back to TF King. It's been a very, very long time since I've done one of these again. I mean, it's been the whole month, and it's season two, which means we got two new teams and a fresh new Dubai Lander, which is 15 by 15. Tonight, we're going to be having a game between Judgment Day and Valiant, just like the good old days. That was a month ago. Don't, don't think too much on it, but other than that, this is going to be quite interesting since we're not starting with Asheville. Asheville has actually been removed due to uh, to the issues about the bots. It was shown a few times uh, in the games before, but I think it's just better to move on without it. Uh, we will be adding a few more maps along the way, but for now, we're sticking to the basics. With that said, we are instead going to be playing the game on a map called Brazil. Let's go ahead and cut into that. Very, very nice of this. So, yep, that's right. 15 players, and along with that, they've also got more training, and they got used to more unique weapons. Let's go through the roster here. There's a lot of people. We've got Gerald Steiner, Donna, Yellow Swaggins, Unique ID, Tiny Desk Engineer, Motherfucking Wolfitus, I'm Real, Dread, Vintage Grass Crag, Frank Grin D's Nuts, Nakamura, Drinking and Driving, Prankster Gangster, and You Suck. Uh, the names, I think, are switching because we got things like uh, Duke Tour. I forgot about that one. And that's for both team. For Red, we got Jimo, Peppermint, Practical, Tactical Toast, Daniel Bernoulli, Lemon Grab, I Wish I Was Dead, Mick Rave, Consumer Your Calcium, Rearier One, Chunky Joe, ESP, Soups, Kupcon, Destroyed, Country Steak Sauce, and Despacito. Um, yes, they are switching up and down. Not sure why I did that. Oh, we're gonna have to go into the Uh Let's have some fun. Five, four, three. Two, one, and off we go. As you can see, each class now is able to switch down and switch to a different class, but also are able to use their own weapons, along with some cool cast blocks that change every time they respawn. You know, to make things a lot more interesting. Now, let's let the chaos begin. Scouts running up here. Pyro is taking some mayhem right now. With right now, it looks like Blue is holding their ground. Valiant is trying to do much as they can. Trying to get heat defended. Pyro goes down. Heavy still on fire, but still holding a lot of fire and killing off. A good wipe there, not a full team wipe, but still a good wipe. And here it's starting to build up on the top of the layer, as you can see by the center the top left on your screen. But yeah, it looks like Judgment Day did not have a good start there, but no one has gotten the point yet, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, usually they go into the real quick here. Uh, Spy jumps in, gets killed, and switching on to the left. Looks like Blue Dumbman is now hopping onto the point trying to get this win for Valiant. Uh, but looks like they got infantiered by Consumer Calcium, the Red Heavy, trying to hold on to the point here. It looks like it gives Red the chance to run over and get onto the point as well. Uh, Blue Medic, Blue Demo, on back. Red Sniper is trying to get, get some aiming spots on the game, if they think much from there. Red Energy hops in. We got another Red Energy building a sentry in the uh, bottom area. Not exactly a good idea since I can't get he easily killed in a second, but looks like the sentry is doing its job regardless. Uh, a random charge by Blue Demo here. It gets obliterated by Heavy, heavy regardless. That doesn't really help much in that scenario. Uh, two Demos. Looks like I got beat up in the center here. Are we going to join them? No, we are not. Let's see. Still channeling around here. There we go. Looks like Red just captured the point. So Dumb Day is currently in the lead. Many seconds downwards. He's destroyed the side and put on some tears. Vintage Kratz Krag is coming up to the point. Country Stakes Sauce is also coming up to the point here. Uh, looks like the Enchi here has have managed to build a sentry, killing the soldier there. Very, very well done. Red soldier and red medic. Very nicely. The blue engineer does have a very suitable position. Looks like they built another sentry up here. Looks like they just killed a spy and destroyed their sapper. And more importantly, even though despite the sentries up there, Judgment Day still has the advantage. And that's going to be quite an issue if Valiant wants to get a good win out of this. So we'll have to see what happens next. Uh, Red Scout trying to do some efforts, but regardless, it looks like we're getting a huge overwhelming firepower by Valiant as they make a huge approach to the eastern side here. And looks like there's just some deadlines. It looks like now someone's trying to get onto the point. Looks like it's a blue scout. Vinci's crash track is getting onto the point. Yep, I think that should do it. Looks like Valiant will be getting onto this point. Red Spy is running up here trying to get rid of those sentries. Can he do it? No, he cannot. What? Okay. Um, Lemon Grab, the Red Spy, just did a stupid act and used his knife instead of the dispenser. Uh, Blue Mac does go down here. 
Now, looks like they'll need to reorganize and get another huge push here if they want to get something done. Though it does look like Valiant is going for a push forward towards Red Spawn, which will make Judgment Day struggle just a little bit more, but if they can push through, it'll get them a huge gap for them to go for. Uh, shut up, car. And... Uh, <laughs> uh, Soup Can and a bunch of other players are coming up to get them to the point. Despite the fact that there's a sentry right there. Two soldiers trying to take it out. Soup Can goes down. Uh, destroy the Red Soldier. Trying to go up here, too. Uh, Blue Scout is in the way. Does he kill the Blue Scout? Yes, he does, but... Uh, but the sentry goes down regardless. That... That sucks. That just sucks. That was like a really good effort by Judgment Day. A good forward push with the two soldiers. But looks like we don't have to frame more. It looks like there was a soldier medic combo coming up here too. Or is that demo medic? I'm not sure. But because the demo is here, there's a soldier medic combo. He's like right in the back. Uh, can we cut to that? Uh, I don't think we do, but looks like they're doing very well. Um, soldier medic is still in combo with a scout and a demo man. The blue demo man is running back onto the point to keep it held. Uh, red soldier coming back from behind. Kills a red soldier, and we don't get to see any more of that. <laughs> um, but looks like the uh, Valiant is trying to do their own advantages too to make sure they get back onto the point, keeping it defensive before uh, Junkie Day has any chance of getting it back on. This blue sniper, holy shit! Okay, Dread just made a few couple quick kills, which is actually quite impressive. Fails to get another kill there, uh, but regardless, so Virior 1 is now trying to get a huge advantage here. Looks like they're going around. Can he kill that sniper? No, he does not. Uh, blue soldier now, red, blue pyro, getting onto the point. This is so confusing. I'm, I, I'm clearly confused here. If you can't tell, there's too much going on. Uh, blue soldier does get killed, and looks like Judgment Day now is taking the huge advantage because I think it's the fact that they either got killed a lot or uh, they got pushed back. It's usually a mix of the two. And now, jeez. Judgment Day is now going for a huge forward defensive here. 40 seconds off the clock right now. And it's absolutely messy in the middle of the outfield. Blue Scout goes down. Judgment Day is still holding on this forward advantage. It looks like they are able to get on point right here. Yes, they will. Absolutely impressive for Soupcad. The player that just got on there. Very well done. Uh, we have a lot of demolins here. Red Heavies is trying to hold on to the point. Kills all the amazing and walks away, it's simple enough. And he, he can't really do anything else. We got a vaccinator medic with a soldier, which is actually quite effective if you know how to use it correctly. And oh my goodness me, that's definitely gonna be awful. It looks like that was quite effective as they are under attack now. Uh, Red Soldier's trying to kill that medic. We got a good footage of that here. Can he do it on another one shot? He misses. Go for another shot, kills the medic. Blue Soldier now able to fend for himself, but looks like they do uh, they do fall back, which get, we could give Valiant some kind of advantage over here for some reason. It looks like they don't take advantage of it. The two soldiers now are also backing up too. What is going on? So now Judgment Day looks like they're starting to pull back in now that they've retreated, which they shouldn't have retreated in the first place. I'm not sure why they did that. Now Judgment Day is overflowing over onto the point now. Uh, but looks like we'll have to see what happens next. At night now. Valiant is getting some wipes here and there. It's 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 a it's a blunt fest for Valiant. It's awful. But other than that, Judgment Day is holding on strong and proud. Just 20 more seconds and they will be able to win this game. Red Engineer is now feeling very well. Blue Spy coming up. Can they do it? He saps the Red Sentry. Engineer falls back! Spy goes on to sap the rest of the Red Buildings. Well, but will that be enough? Will they be able to get onto that point? Can Valiant just walk up on there? Two, one, and no, they do not. The first win goes to Judgment Day. Excellent work. And I forgot some water. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. Okay, okay. Round two. Judgment Day has gotten this win. Can they do it again? Can Valiant make some kind of success in this? We will have to wait and see. Some are a little disgusted by the looks of it. But let's see what happens next. Do a good start killing a few people here and there. It's mixed. It looks like the demos are rushing up trying to kill as many as they can. They managed to kill a few players. The blue demon man taking a huge advantage. A massive, massive play there. It looks like they have to fall back entirely, but not a lot of people have been killed. There is a good wipe though, but not everyone's dead. That means 
Judgment Day has lost this the first initiative, making Dime able to catch the point on the first go. It looks like they are about to. Uh, Blue Demo here. Groups looks like the group on the right is also trying to help out. Blue Demo goes around with Heavy, kills the medic. Very well done by Valiant. A really good start. Uh, Red Pyro coming up here. Can Blue Demo kill this Pyro? No, he does not. He actually misses. It looks like he's going to get overwhelmed by the other classes anyway. Uh, nope, he gets joined in by the Soldier. Red Soldier does his damage, gets killed by the Blue Heavy. I think he blew himself up by the looks of it. And overall, but we can see a good finish for you thanks to motherfucking Op Opidus. Um, a very good view showing that Valiant is in the huge lead and is holding him back as much as they can. Red Pyro tries to get it back, but looks like he's forced to go back, but he isn't killed, which means that's good. Judgment Day has, has to have some kind of hope here. They need to get something done to get that good push. And looks like that is right here because the entire Valiant team has just back backpedaled into a situation here. Now they have to fight him back, which I think what is what they were trying to do. They fell back, let the players come before nailing them, and that's what they're doing here. Looks like that didn't go so well with the fact that now the entire Valiant is now wiped out. The main front, at least. Another heavy comes on to the point where, oddly enough, the demo man is also showing up. An engineer, engineer may, tries to make the jump, but I don't think he made it. Blue heavy, and okay, one of the heavies died. Duke Tor takes out the sentry. Very well done. Looks like it's a May sentry. Who places a May sentry in a competitive map? I don't know. But we allow it because some bots are really stupid like that. With that said, uh, we got the medic coming up here. Vintage Cut Clag is now coming up onto the point with a vaccinator. Very, very useful in this scenario. With explosive and bullet resistance. The bullet resistance does help out here. We're trying to get this heavy, but it looks like the medic still dies. And right now it's a balanced system. Both red and blue. Ooh, Valley loses the point. Can Judgment Day run back on there and get onto the point? It looks like some... What is going on? Okay. So it looks like the, that's why I killed the blue sniper in this scenario. I was looking at the kill feed. It's looking very good here. It looks like Judgment Day did manage to capture the point, which is very, very good. It looks like they're trying to rebuild again. But it looks like the red engineer beat him to it and destroyed the sentry gun. Very, very well done. I love, love to see it. Absolutely beautiful. Really dumb, man. It's coming up here. Pyro goes flying. It looks like I got a huge, a huge push here. Can they do it? Oh, dumb man at 49 health. Oh, gets obliterated by the soldier. Jeez, me. Goodness gracious. Right now, Valiant still has that center control, but they need to run up onto that point. They need to understand that there are players back there, which we sadly cannot see for some reason. Uh, looks like he does get killed, though, which is really good. There we go. Now we have some kind of advantage. He's dragging to hop onto that point. Yes, he will. He's hopping on there now. But can he hold on there as the enemy team comes up? Looks like engineers are now in the way. Jumps onto the border. Very good push here. Can he get on there? Yes, he will. Absolutely beautiful. Now Valiant has the point. They just need to hold on for another minute. Can they do that? Blue Soldier goes down. It looks like they might be going for a big push here. So a lot of the players have very little health, but it looks like one middle one med will do be enough for that. Let's see. Yeah, right now they're trying to, to organize a push here. It looks like they're about to execute it right now. Yeah, here they come. Two them are approaching up here. Can they do it? Looks like they deploy the uh, quick fix here. See if they can do some stuff. Looks like they managed to push back the uh, the advance, but they are the jump at day is trying to get into the center control here, as you can see. But they're trying to work their way up, and it looks like they do manage to kill the mech. They kill the soldier. Yes, he dies to fall damage. Uh, he just falls off the map. So now, Judgment Day needs to run up there and capture on the point. They need to remember that that's their objective, not to kill, but to capture. Yes, they will be capturing this point. Oh, that sentry's in the way, though. The sentry's in the way. They must take it out in 10 seconds, or else they won't be able to get this point. Can they do it on the last second? Red Bag is still holding here, 176. It's so close. Hey, Cook, it's the Sentry. Very good job. Now starting to catch the point here. The Kamek stay alive for 83 health. Ooh, Blue Soldier comes up. They turn to the Meg. The Meg is killed. They go for the Heavy. Yes, the Heavy goes down. And finally, I think that should do it. Valiant takes a very close win in this scenario. Absolutely impressive by Valiant.
Holy shit! What a what an end to that round. Well, we have a tight game. It's one to one. Whoever wins this will win the ticket. I guess it's ticket style. I guess it would be more like uh, if you win, you get a ticket. And the more tickets you have, the closer to the top. Wh whatever. You 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 know what I mean. Let's get right into it. Let's see who takes the first initiative advantage here. And the overall firepower by the by the uh, grenade launchers here by Dillman. Uh, looks like they're slowly advancing onto the point here. Can they get on there? Looks like Ruby Soldier had to run back. And oh goodness me. But looks like Jumpin' Day will be able to get onto this point now that the Ref Harry's on there. And with the fact that the Vision Engineer has managed to build a Sentry Gun. And so does the Blue. So does Valiant. Valiant also has an Engineer building up a Sentry too. It's only a matter of who goes down first. Oh, it's a base Sentry? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Let's see, let's go to this demo here. That's actually trying to go for a good move here. Uh, looks like he does do it. Gets killed by a scout. Ay, ay, ay. Red Medic is now trying to keep himself alive. He's the main healer here. He cannot die. And looks like they're not going for a big push here. Coming around onto the site. And we don't get to see that. Looks like they are managing to hold on to this point. If once they catch it, the timer goes down and it starts from there. And they do it. It's right there. Looks like while we're at it, we're going to take a look and see what they have to do. They didn't manage to get to the point. There they go. There we go. We have a point. I, my mouth is going nuts. I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, I'm real. The heavy is now running up here with shotgun. Interesting weapon to use. It looks like it is working. They killed the heavy. The heavy does go down by the red soldier. So now it looks like Judgment Day is still holding on to this point. We still have a good advantage, center advantage for the engineer with the sentry here. Blue Heavy Blue Meg coming up. Can they catch at that point? Looks like they will. Very nicely done. Nice, smooth, and easy. Looks like we got some resistance by a Red Dead Man. It immediately gets killed by... Oh my goodness. Franklin managed to get a good kill here. Very, very nicely done. Um, oh goodness me. Um, what? Uh, let's try to look here for a second. Okay, so it looks like Valiant does have the huge advantage. The Valiant is having a really, really good time with this, and... Sorry, cat. But, yeah, wow, they're going on a huge advantage now. Huge offensive, huge push in this scenario, and besides that, it looks like Peppermint, the Red Heavy here, is trying to break out of this huge advancement, trying to come on with the Vax there. Red, oh, Blue Power comes out of nowhere, kills the Megan Heavy! Absolutely impressive. Oh my goodness me. That is absolutely impressive. I I don't know what else to say. Looks like we've got a huge... Ooh, we got a push here with mini crits. And it looks like that ended really quick because now the soldier is dead. Um, if you can tell by the back, it looks like they're trying to organize something, but Valiant just keeps interrupting it. Which means that Valiant could have an easy win here if Valiant... If, uh, sorry, if Judgment Day doesn't reorganize, Red Bellman gets, gets a, a more fortunate fate by the um by the blue heavy red heavy trying to do something too blue power coming down let's see if they can try and do something looks like they're coming around for the right side uh red scout looks like it's been called to run back red pyro also trying to go back there and see if they can kind of back back cap here which they fail because of the stupid blue sentry yes you might need to destroy that first before you can do anything else a good rubber shot here by duke tor getting us to the point trying to kill this scout can he kill the scout uh, no, he does not. He gets killed by a demo man's lemon grab, I believe. So, very, very nicely done. Um, yeah, just mid day looks like managed to break through, and now they're hopping onto the point. But that blue sentry is still there. Can they destroy it? They did manage to put their own sentry down, still. That's, that's weird. But this time, this is actually an actual sentry. I don't, I don't know what is going on in this scenario. So, we'll have to see what happens next. Uh, Red Soldier now is... Yeah, Judgment Day currently has the lead. They managed to take out the uh, destruction there. And the Red Soldier now is... Oh, he missed the jump! No! No, he missed the jump! Sorry, I'm, I'm a big over excess over something small. Um, back to the main point. Valiant is struggling here. It looks like they are making slow progress to get back onto that point. They have two minutes to do all this stuff. And once they capture it, it's merely a minute. So it looks like the Super Calcium did manage to do a nice air shot here. Uh, managed to duck, dodge a rocket. 
A Bruce will just try to come around and see if they can kill it. And right now it's a mixed bag of soldiers and a blue scout. Blue scout trying to kill the soldier. 220, 220 health for the uh, red soldier. And looks like we get clipped out of there. Right now it's a mixed bag. There's only one red player on the field. Ooh! Red Devil trying to do him gets killed. Right now Valiant might have this huge massive advantage in this scenario. And by the looks of it, it might be a good win for Valiant. But here's the thing, they never catch the point. There we go! Okay. That's what we were waiting for. A nice simple capture the point. Nakamura is taking the lead on that one. It just needs to stay on that point. Oh, there's a red sniper. Red sniper in the background. Is he gonna kill the dead man? Uh, looks like he's too distracted. But we'll have to see what happens next. Oh, it looks like Red Soldier does interrupt it. Gets killed by the sentry. So it looks like we're still having good faith here. But it, it does pause the catch now that Mac Nakamura is down. And it looks like Judgment Day now is back on the point And actually still continuing to hold it. So we'll have to see what happens next. Uh, I wish I was dead. The Red Heavy is going for a huge chance advantage. Kills the Blue Soldier. And looks like he'll be holding for a while. Until some kind of sniper manages to kill him down. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see that or not. But we'll have to find and figure it out. Looks like Heavy did move instead. It looks like he's still alive. Right now it's a really close game. 20 seconds left on the clock. We need Valiant to push in and get this win. Can they do it? Looks like Soldier trying to go in with a couple of sniper. Nakamura is coming back. Falls down on the side of the cliff. Oh, can this be a win for Judgment Day? Three, two, one, and yes, it will. Wow, we. All right. What? What a game! What a massive game that we have here. Very, very impressive. And those are the scores. Okay, so let's go through the game here. What do we have for this overall? Well, first things first, congratulations to Judgment Day for the first win of season two. They 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 were, you know, the champions of last of last season, so I wouldn't expect them to be very well. And they must they must have learned very well from last season when they did their first game against Valiant in Asheville, especially with the fact that they're well, well trained, they got more cool cosmetics, and they just, just are just better overall. And that's very impressive. Although, I'll give credit to Valiant as well. Valiant also did amazing, especially with their huge pushes uh, towards the east and managing to hold it back and also disrupting any kind of organization. That is until they managed to break out of their own. And that's a mixed bag of all that stuff. Now, let's get to the MVPs of the scenario. Who, who played out the best and who committed the most to like either a close victory or the victory overall? And if we go over to blue, I'm immediately going to give it to the heavies. The heavies are very well done in this scenario. I say blue heavies managed to do a lot of effort and do a lot of killing blows against a lot of players. Um, it's just overall impressive. Now, for the red team, we definitely have to give a couple. And I think the first one to give out to would have to be the medic. The medic was a clean healer, and there was only one, I think, one medic in that scenario, and the last medic of the game was Daniel Baruni, to give out a little note there, and basically, nobody plays medic, nobody really played medic, except for one person, and that's really tricky to handle out with 14 other players, I mean, you gotta have some management here and there, like the heavies, but other than that, that's pretty much it, so I'll give it to medic, and I will also give it to the blue demo man for mostly the start of the game because once the dem like the demo man's grenade launchers they were spamming the shit out of those and what happened was basically most of the team would get suddenly white if everything went perfectly and in one of the games this absolutely happened I think on the second and third those were great examples of those so I'll give the blue demo man a good MVP on that one. So, now let's talk about the next game. The next game is going to be quite interesting. Since we do have two new teams, we're going to be going with Valiant versus Zabanzai on the 9th of May at 9.30. It is definitely going to be interesting in this scenario because this is a new team. Zabanzai is one of the new teams along with another one coming up soon, but we won't be seeing them in a long time, and they'll be having their own streak similar to what Solar Crimson had in Season 1. Um, I'm very excited, and I'm glad to be back. So, with that said, I love you. 
Thank you so much for watching TF King Season 2 on Guilford Royal Broadcast, and I will see you on the 9th.